Hi everyone, I'm Bill and this is In the Library. When you're a writer, beta readers are an important part of the process. They help us shape our books and keep us on track. So today, let's look at beta readers and the integral role they play in the writing process. Your beta readers represent your audience from an average reader's point of view. They help you work out plot inconsistencies, character issues, or confusing bits of story. Their job is to minimize reader disappointment when reading your book. Much like beta testers of a new software, beta readers test your book and provide useful constructive criticism. Now, this is different from alpha readers, who is the first person to read your manuscript right after the first draft is complete. Beta readers read the later drafts as you're getting ready to publish. Hey, you want more behind the scenes, early access, and all kinds of other goodies? Check out our Patreon. Link is down in the description. What to look for in a beta reader is, one, use people who love to read. Readers know what they like and what works for them. Therefore, they know what doesn't work. Two, use people who are reliable and have time to spend reading your book because you do want to publish eventually. Three, use people who aren't afraid to be honest. The idea is to get constructive criticism, so you want to use people who are willing to give you the good, the bad, and the ugly. And four, use people who are familiar with your genre. You want betas who are experts in your subject matter. They will be able to give you knowledgeable feedback, and they won't get bored. Within these four points, try to get readers with diverse backgrounds and experiences, as your full audience would be. There are many places to find beta readers, starting with your family, friends, co-workers. However, if they have beta read for you before, you may want to widen it out to online and social media groups. Your local library may have some writing groups that you can join in person or online. You can search for beta readers on freelance sites that will do it for a fee. Keep in mind, it is always good to have multiple betas for your book, so do consider cost. I'll link in the pinned comment below some sources and more information on beta readers. The best time to deploy your betas are when the manuscript is at a point where it's polished and presentable, but still changeable and malleable enough to be updated and changed based on your betas' feedback and criticism. You want to have most of the loose ends cleaned up before you hand the project over to your beta readers. Beta readers are one of the most important tools in a writing project. They represent your reading audience and can provide valuable insight into how your work is going. Be kind to your betas and celebrate them in your acknowledgments. And so, a toast to the beta readers. That's it for this week. Please click my face here to subscribe and click here for more writing tips. Thank you for watching and please keep on reading. We'll see you next time.